right, today we're going to make a um, orange oil lamp. Should give you a nice citrus smell and also provide you with a little bit of light. Gonna reach in and make sure it stays intact there, leaving just the peel. We want to try to get as much of that root stem as we can in there. There we go. See how we left a nice large amount in there? Now we can fill that up, making sure we get a lot of oil on that actual stem. Now this will soak in, so don't be surprised if they had a little bit of additional oil here, eventually. But with this little citrus lamp, we can get roughly six hours worth of light from it. Now this will take a couple seconds for you to uh, light, so have a lighter and be ready to hold it on there for just a few seconds. Alright, this doesn't put a whole lot of light out, but go ahead and turn the light off and you can see. Uh, that's the one we just made. And we have one that I made a few minutes ago, testing out that theory. Before we made this video, you can see how it works as well. This one's been going for uh, roughly two hours or so. I didn't leave much wick on that one, so it won't last as long because the wick will obviously burn down. This one I was able to, over here, I was able to save a good bit of the wick, so this one should last quite a while. Uh, we could potentially get up to six hours out of this one. This one I don't see it lasting more than another hour or two, so this one should last about a total of three hours, and this one should last up to about six hours. So, very, very limited light output on these. However, they can work in a pinch to give you an uh, at-home candle and uh, disaster. Plus, you get a great snack to go along with it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Uh, also, another little trick you can do if you want to make a reflector. Simply cut the top out of your orange peel. Place it over the orange again. And you'll notice that you have a nice little jack lantern effect of a reflector. Also, the heat up to about 8 inches or so is almost cooking temperature. <clears throat> so in a pinch, you could technically place your hands about there, get your hands warm if you needed to. It does give a very, very good citrus smell. As you can see, we haven't burned off any, hardly any olive oil on this one on, our, on your left, and the one on the right is still going strong. I will probably do a tape delay and see what about what our burn time is on these and get back to you. I'll be back to you in just a few.
Alright, just as a brief update for three hours in, I just had to add a little bit of oil to uh, this one as it was getting a little low. As you can see, the stem on this one is starting to burn a little bit down there. So, that was from where it got a little bit low. Uh, this one, still extremely full and still chugging along. I'll check back in again with you here in a couple more hours and this one will probably be out and this one will probably go for 15 or 20 hours at the rate of the going. Alright, final update. This is about six hours, maybe six and a half hours in. Um, as you can see, they're both still going strong. I've had to add uh, olive oil to this one and three times so far. This one I have not added a thing and it is barely moved on your oil. Um, once the oil goes down a little bit, it's going to burn a lot hotter like that one is. Uh, like I said before, these don't put out a whole lot of heat. They don't put out a whole lot of light. I'll go ahead and turn the back off again. As you can see, hardly any light put out. Uh, more of a novelty than anything. You can get you know, right to there and you can possibly boil some water. It takes some doing, but I think you could boil a limited amount of water and you can get your hands nice and warm from these. Aside from that and the aesthetic look and the smell, really not a whole lot of value added to them, but if you need a little light and you don't have anything else, olive oil, a knife, and an orange. And you have yourself a homemade oil lamp. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free. Uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and hope you have a great day.